Hello, everyone. How are you all doing? We are down to our last webinar session for this unique online event. To all of you that have been tuning in, thank you for your participation, and we hope you've had an insightful experience over the last nine days. Do take this opportunity to reach out to the representatives of the projects that you've been experiencing via the live chat or meetings function. You can even request for a virtual tour at the lounge. This is your last chance to interact with them in exceptional homes. Now, I believe we have the perfect session as a wrap up to our webinar. I would like to welcome a joint presentation by Hutton's Asia on the topic, Upscale Your Luxury Real Estate Portfolio, with a project showcase on Pullman Residences by Kevin Gao, Executive Group District Director, and Rex Tan, Executive Group District Director. One of Kevin's most notable achievements was for a project he marketed, Côte de Jour, where he completed more than 100 sales and rental transactions out of the 612 units. Kevin has also been a top three producer in Hutton's consistently. Joining Kevin this evening is Rex Tan. Rex has more than 15 years of experience and has received countless awards on his success. He currently manages more than 800 agents at Hutton's Asia and is a figure looked up to by many in the industry. To all our viewers, it has been an exceptional pleasure hosting this webinar series on exceptional homes. Thank you once again for joining us and over to you, Kevin and Rex. Well, good afternoon, everyone. Um, welcome to Exceptional Homes presented by CNA Luxury and Property Guru. So uh, today we're going to talk to you about upscaling your luxury real estate portfolio. Today, uh, I'm Rex Tan from Executive Group District Directors, uh, Hattons. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Kevin Giao. I'm the Executive Group District Director for Hattons. All right. So welcome to the show. Well, before we start, maybe we'll just go into the disclaimer. All right. For the disclaimer portion, we just like to emphasize a uh, uh, shout out. The contents here are purely for internal circulation and use only. And uh, we are sharing, uh, sharing our own research. And uh, we, are, we do our best to keep it as accurate as they can up to 28 November 2021. And of course, uh, in no event will Hutton's or our salesperson be liable in contract uh, to any decision, action uh, done, direct, indirect, uh, or in similar damage. All right. Okay. Thank you very much. So for the like to uh, start the presentation uh, uh, lightheartedly by asking uh, my, my uh, dear brother, Rex. Okay, Rex, are you into brands or are you rather a branded person to speak? Well, uh, <laughs> branded person, I'm, I'm not exactly a 100% branded person. We do wear, uh, I do wear some brands on me. So like watches and, and maybe cars that I drive. But uh, in general, uh, I'm not fully branded person. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Okay, I think the thing is, uh, many of us, without us knowing, uh, we are, uh, we, we definitely do seek quality, do seek durability. And uh, like it or not, I will call this because they have brands and more, most of us will really want to seek the brand. Uh, and especially so when you are, uh, especially you talk about watches, you talk about cars, you need something with strong investment value. You need something with strong resale value, all right? And of course, uh, number two, Rex, do your do many of your clients, investors, do they seek uh, big and reputable developers? Well, um, property purchase has been the biggest asset for Singaporean, and I do agree that um, if we are looking for properties, we would prefer something that is branded. Uh, because it kind of gives assurance and quality. Um, so, and yeah, I think I think for Singaporean-wise, I think we will go for branded uh, if, if talking about property purchase. Definitely. Okay, and we, but the thing is, the uh, branded versus non-branded, usually the key difference is always about the prices. And we all know that with the uh, higher price tag, sometimes it can be easily uh, two to three times uh, three to ten times even more expensive than those that doesn't have a brand. So, but the question is, do branded residences uh, in Singapore also means more expensive than the non-branded residences? Today, we're going to find out uh, more. And of course, speaking so, uh, I would like to share 
I all I often have clients uh, asking me for a, a few common condition. Uh, if I may, number one will be they will always be asking me for undervalued properties or rather fire sale. Number two, to be near MRT. All right. And number three, freehold. Number four, since we are talking about branded uh, residences today, I wanted to add in number four, which is branded residences. And today we happen to have one very uh, good project that fits all this condition, which is none other than Pullman Residences. So uh, without further ado, uh, Rex has actually done some uh, research uh, over the last uh, few years and of course, and of course recently uh, on all the uptrends. So Rex, could you share with us more on what is happening uh, in the local market updates for uh, uh, this area? Sure. All right. So I'm going to share with you some market updates uh, in core central region. We are seeing a strong uptrend over the past um, three to four years. So we're starting from 2018. You can see that um, in the 2018, 2019, we are seeing the numbers are at 3000 each same as 2022. But uh, this year, we are only in the third quarter of what has been recorded. For the first three quarters, the numbers of core central region uh, transaction has hit up to all-time high, 4,926, just on the first three quarters. So we can see just from the chart itself, we are seeing a strong uptrend for core central region. There are more buyers uh, interested in buying into core central region. So we are going to dive in more on why and, and what resulted in it. So some of the numbers are contributed definitely from Irwell Hill residences. Over 50% of the units are sold uh, during the weekend, which is happening in April uh, this year. So 50% was sold. Uh, moving forward uh, for the next seven months, which is right now in November, we can see that the transaction has uh, hit up to 74% sold already. So we see that uh, there's an increase in demand on core central region compared to the previous year. Next, uh, you can see that another project in the core central region, which is uh, Javois Mansion in District 10, 99% sold as well. So it has been uh, fastly snapped up by the buyers for, for products if they are uh, attractive. So we're going to share with you more attractive products uh, uh, at a later part of our presentation. And oh, um, just last week, <laughs> just last weekend, you can see that Canning Hill Pills in River Valley sells 77% of the close to 700 units, including one, four, one, one penthouse that is worth 48 million. So I can see that uh, on, on the market itself, I think uh, there's a strong demand in, in the core central regions. And Kevin, I would like to ask you, uh, in your opinion, which country citizens bought the most in Singapore? Well, okay. Um, from my own personal experience, I do have many uh, buyers that I work with. They are mainly from the neighboring countries, usually uh, Malaysia, Malaysia, Malaysians, and of course, uh, China, uh, China. These two yeah. are the, the main, uh, 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 what do you call it, foreigners that I always work with. And uh, please, please, please highlight to me the, some of the statistics that we have done as well. Yep. So um, what we can see that um, it's not only the core central regions that is uh, picking up in terms of interest. We also see an increase in terms of foreigner purchase over the past two years in Singapore. So uh, like what Kevin has mentioned, uh, the five countries that uh, form the majority bulk of the purchaser are China, Malaysia, India, Indonesia, and USA. And since 2019, if, um, we're at the start of the pandemic, <laughs> and right now we are more like on, on the endemic, we can see that numbers continue to increase, even though uh, we are only on the third quarter of transactions recorded in URA, we can see that the numbers of foreigners purchased increase over these past two to three years. All right. And with vaccinated travel lanes that is opening up, I, uh, what is your view, Kevin? Well, I think we've... I, more... Are you planning for travel? <laughs> oh, I love to. I love to. Uh, and uh, in fact, I'm, I'm trying to work on some uh, to bring my families uh, and also my uh, our colleague, our team out for some traveling uh, uh, finally, you know, after some time. Yes, and in my opinion, 
uh, when this VTL uh, uh, lanes are more uh, are open and functioning, well, with Singapore's limit su limited supply, and uh, on top of that, we already have our domestic, uh, our local domestic demand. And if you open VTL lanes, you should have more demands coming from overseas. Foreigners will add on to the demand. And of course, with, with such prices are expected to be on the rise again. Yeah, more and more on the rise, yeah. <laughs> yes. So let me share with you what uh, I think uh, all of us are excited to travel. So we can see, we will be expecting that we can see that our friends that are putting on social media, that they are traveling to different parts of the world. And it, it is the same for Singapore. Uh, a lot of foreigners will be coming in through vaccinated travel lanes into Singapore. So um, these are the existing active VTL countries that uh, has a VTL lane with Singapore. Up and coming, which is 29 November tomorrow, we will see another five more countries added to this VTL lane. And subsequently on the 6th December, another four, uh, three more countries that will be added in. So, so with all these numbers uh, added in, a number of countries that's added in, we are expecting more foreigners coming into Singapore. And of course, other than travel, we believe that uh, like what Kevin has shared earlier on, uh, these numbers do brings in property transaction as well. Some are here for travel and definitely there will be uh, a handful of them will be coming in to purchase properties. So yeah, Rex, uh, I also realize, yeah, I also realize that some of the uh, lanes itself, I mean, the, the five uh, major countries that's coming to Singapore, majority of the lanes are actually open for them, ex uh, except China. China is a little bit slow, but Malaysia, India, Indonesia, USA is already open. VTL lane uh, with Singapore already. So uh, like what we have, un uh, Kevin has actually anticipated on my questions, which is with more VTL lane open for foreigners, uh, we do believe that uh, this does bring in volume for the property transaction, especially to into the CCR regions. Yes. So uh, Kevin, how many branded residences are there in Singapore? Well, um, today we have, well, today in Singapore itself, we already have existingly three branded residences in Singapore. Could you share more with us? Yes, please. I uh, did some research as well. So we did some comparison. You can take a look. Well, the existing three branded residences in Singapore, it's none other than St. Regis, Ritz Carlton, and W Singapore. And of course, with these existing three, uh, we have the fourth uh, up and coming, which we will share later. So we did some studies to share with you. Number one is based on the tenure. If you realize for sandwiches and Ritz Carlton, they are triple nine and freehold, which is as good as freehold for triple nine. And only W Singapore, it's 99 years leasehold. And of course, if you go to the next one, which is the total number of units, you realize that uh, for these three projects itself, they are really, they are built in such a way that they, they are more exclusive. You don't see huge number of units, you but you do see very exclusive, uh, hundred plus uh, or for even risk covering, it's only fifty eight units, All right? And also the unit mix, you also realize that for branded residences, we usually have very huge layout, bigger layout, bigger floor plates uh, compared to the uh, uh, the other projects. And of course, the fourth, which we also want to compare, is the maintenance fees. Um, if you look at the the minimum standard for the uh, maintenance fees for St. Regis and W Singapore, we are looking at 1,000 each. And for Ritz Carlton, we are looking at as high as 3,000 plus per month. And of oh, course, all God. this, yeah. And of course, all these maintenance fees uh, with such a high ticket uh, for such branded residences, you can expect superb uh, service and uh, concept services that uh, uh, such branded residences provide. Wow, um, to really look into the maintenance fee, I, I definitely believe that uh, <laughs> they are going to provide a service that service you like a king or queen when you are staying there. Oh, yes. Uh, in fact, later I'm going to share more and, and this is what we, that really gets me very excited. So, of course, uh, the fourth branded residences that we are going to introduce today and that fits into the profile that I mentioned earlier on, uh, it's Pum none other than Pullman Residences. Well, uh, for Pullman residences, right? So, uh, what is for Pullman residences? Um, 
In fact, when when I get to um when Pullman residences first come into Singapore, I have uh to be <laughs> maybe I'm not very well traveled, but I've not heard about the brand uh yet. So when Pullman residences come into Singapore as a branded residences, um I wasn't aware, but maybe you are like me, uh, <laughs> you are not aware of Pullman residences. But when I went to do my research on Pullman residences and all the hotels in World War, Kevin, make a guess. How many hotels are there uh, for Pullman's hotels around the world? All right. I think for one, uh, usually brand for, for them to be called branded first, uh, they really need to be uh, established over the years. Plus the number of uh, projects has to be uh, significant enough uh, globally so that to call, I'll say uh, if I were to put a number minimum they need to have at least 100 projects globally so that uh, they can be called uh, at least uh, proper branded la. <laughs> uh, I guess you are right so uh, I, I've that, uh, I did my research over worldwide right um, Pullman residences in Europe have 30 hotels and of course in America they have 10 Africa they have 4 Middle East, they have three, including Saudi Arabia. And of course, uh, Oceania, we have 16. And 15 of them are in Australia. And last but not least, in Asia, we have 48, where China have just uh, 24 Pullman residences. Uh, of course, uh, that include the one that is up and coming in Singapore. So one of the noticeable uh, Pullman uh, uh, hotels that we will notice is, of course, the in the France, whereby the Elfie Tower, so Pullman Residences is uh, in the Alfie Tower. Oh. So this, this is something interesting as well. Yes. Well, I think, so, it, it, yeah. Yeah. So okay. um, uh, Kevin, could you share with us on the branded residences experience? Uh, since just now we did uh, share a bit about the maintenance fee. So for that kind of maintenance, uh, maintenance fee that the residents will be paying, what kind of experience do they expect to get? Yes. In fact, uh, in Singapore itself, such a, a high ticket uh, maintenance, many of the buyers are not very receptive. Uh, but on the other hand, if you look at the existing successful branded residences, these residences are already staying there uh, and they are already enjoying the services. And such, such uh, properties, they do hold a very strong value. Uh, which we will show uh, later on. But now I want to talk about the experiences when you are uh, having, uh, uh, staying, residing in such a project. So, so the branded residences experience. Now, when one of the one of the key thing, especially, uh, I just want to touch on some day because there's really a full fledged of experience. One some of the things that really hits me it's uh, when I need to go for a holiday. Um, when I need to go for holiday, some of the things that I'll be concerned about will be my existing uh, uh, staff at home. Uh, of course, number one, my pets, my dogs, right? So uh, my dogs, I usually bring them out for a walk twice a day. I, mm. I know of friends who bring them like one day, three times. One. So mine is one time or two time minimum. Uh. If you don't bring them out, then they're gonna, they, 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 they just can't do it in the house. They have to go out and, and, and settle their business, right? So, <laughs> yeah. Dog walking, dog walking is really something that uh, either you put it in a pet hostel. So, but for uh, Pullman, rather, we do have such dog walking services. And of course, number two that really hits me is when I go for holiday. Uh, what, what happens to the maintenance of the house? You know, if I've got deliveries coming to my place, who's going to pick it up? Who's going to upkeep the my, my existing place? You know, I don't want to come back home from uh, a, a travel after my work travel and then I realized that my whole house is in a mess uh, there's no one housekeeping my house all right and of Ooh. course number three which is the most important that really hits me it's uh my laundry you know especially when you come back home from uh, a, a long travel say uh, five days you you have like uh, five days of full laundry uh, stuff and of course all the new stuff that you bought you definitely need somebody to help you <laughs> do the cleaning so so these, these are the three things that really hits me and, uh, uh, and some of the things I really need when it comes to branded uh, residence experience. And of course, uh, number two, especially when I meet my important uh, partners or my important clients, investors. Well, I think having a proper place, proper tea refreshment is very important. So when I do have such uh, uh, conditions, uh, this is something that I really like to present to my VIPs and let them feel good. All right to let them really feel like a VIP, and then of course, uh, very importantly, it's uh, other than that, 
I also need, they also, uh, uh, the, the branded residences also do provide uh, very specialized personal assistance to cater to your needs uh, for whatever that you, uh, uh, you, will, you will require during that meeting itself, right? And of course, uh, one of the third, what the, the third point will be uh, that really hits me, when I do have friends, visitors coming to my place, uh, sometimes uh, 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 even foreign, foreign guests uh, coming from the airport. So private transportations can also be arranged to shuffle uh, them from the uh, airport all the way to my uh, premises. And of course, uh, personal share, uh, uh, private cooking. So this is also something that is very important, especially right now during uh, COVID, especially if your guests do not want to travel, uh, as in like they do not want to go to public places uh, for their makans. Uh. So I think personal, personal chef really do create such opportunity. Uh, and of course, last but not least, which is because uh, Pullman Residences, this branded residences is part of Accord Group. And for Accord Group, they do have huge significant presence. They have as much as 4,000 hotels uh, across the, uh, 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 the globe. And we do have a lot of uh, uh, global benefits, uh, which includes also 20% of hotel and resort rates and a very specialized VIP reservation desk just catered for such, uh, for our residences in uh, Pullman uh, residences as well. And yeah. uh, <laughs> I guess it's, it's being, it would be very nice to be either the owner or be the owner's friend to enjoy the experience when, when they are visiting Pullman residences. Yes, and correct Rex, uh, don't get me wrong, we do have a lot of uh, benefits which is tied to uh, Pullman residences because, but this this four that I want to bring up is does this four that really uh, what I use uh, uh, most of the time or rather all the time. So there are lots of it, but I'm not going to bore the audience here uh, on what we have. And uh, of course, uh, it, uh, you also mentioned that the maintenance fee, uh, it's high, but I want you to also uh, uh, take a, 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 what do you call it, I guess. I also want you to really look at the maintenance fees and, and when you look at Pullman's maintenance fees comparison towards the rest, you realize that it is not uh, really that uh, high. Yeah, but I have done a research on the maintenance fee for branded residences. So um, one of the noticeable things is, of course, uh, for Pullman residences, if you are an investor and you wish to invest in uh, Pullman residences as part of your investment portfolio, um, Pullman Residences is the only uh, developments that provides the one bedroom for, for investment and the maintenance fees start as low as $450. And of course, for the two bedroom wise, if you are comparing with the rest of the branded residences, which uh, the only one that is comparable is a 99 years W residences, uh, starting from $1,000, whereas Pullman is only half the price for the two bedroom. And if you're comparing a three-bedroom apple-to-apple comparison, we are close to half the price. Same thing for the three-bedroom maintenance fee, but you are not being shortchanged in terms of any uh, concierge service and the branded residences privilege that is provided with uh, the rest of the brands. And of course, on the four-bedroom wise, the maintenance fee is still kept at its low, which is at $600, uh, six, $630 only compared to the rest of the branded residences. All right, so I, I guess uh, Pullman residences do stand out in terms of the, in a lot of other aspects, especially on to the maintenance fee, which could be a concern for some of the purchaser. But uh, do not worry, all this has been well covered <laughs> by the developer. Yes, Rex, if I may, uh, I, if, when I look at the maintenance fee, I realize that even when you are comparing this uh, maintenance fees across the entire uh, CCR, uh, you'll realize that actually such maintenance fees uh, for Pullman itself, this maintenance fees comes with concierge services, which is uh, what the branded residences experience provide. And uh, you're only paying uh, a price, which the, the maintenance fees, which is same or lower compared to those that is in CCR. All right. Yeah. So, I, it's super worth it. Yeah, it is super worth it. So um, on the location wise, um, I'm going to share a bit more about the locations. So uh, I guess Singaporean 
um, being labelled as a Kiasu parents. So one, one of the key thing about it would be uh, primary schools within vicinities uh, when you are purchasing for, um, for your kids so that you can use the address and use it to register for your kids. So in Pullman residences, we are close by within proximity, one, within one kilometer to three top primary school. And uh, with the recent changes uh, of what the MOE has uh, shared, there'll be more reserved uh, seats for phase 2C uh, from the existing 20 doubled to 40. So what does that mean? This also means that uh, before we go, before it goes to, uh, go, so what does that mean to, to, to the buyer over here is that there's more opportunity for you to get into the good schools. So Kevin, what are the three good schools uh, within the one kilometer to Pullman good, residences? Good question. You asked the right guy because I've got three, I've got uh, two boys. So uh, for my two boys itself, I, I, uh, before they went into primary schools, I already started uh, looking for good primary schools. And uh, for Pullman residences itself, right, uh, there are ver three very uh, top-notch primary school within that one, uh, one click. Of course, number one would be St. Joseph, uh, St. Joseph Institution Junior. Number two will be ACS Junior. And number three will be ACS Barker. These three are the top-notch primary schools within one kilometer. Yep, uh, for buyers who are looking for your son to go get into the top primary school, Pullman Residences is one of the top choice that you can consider. Totally. Um, Kevin, could you share with us more in depth on uh, after the purchase, uh, what are some of the exit strategy that uh, the buyer could consider for if, if they are getting into Pullman Residences? Yes, this is, this is in fact very, very important because other than the existing conditions that what the buyers want, they want something that's undervalued, they want something that's freehold, they want something that's MRT. And of course, today we are also sharing Pullman residences, which happens to be to fit all these criteria and a branded residences. So exit strategy is also one part. After you've entered, you also want to know how you can exit. So when we look at exit strategy, one of the key things is we want to look at what is moving forward. Well, um, if you look at the slide uh, before the location map, uh, Rex, before the location map. Okay, you realize that moving forward, right, in the very near, uh, two, I think by 2025, if I'm didn't recall wrongly, we do have this HCM, which is the Health City Novena that is up and coming. And this from this uh, uh, slide, sir, we can see literally how uh, Health City Novena will look like. What are the new... Uh, I'm not going to bother the audience with what is going to, uh, uh, what are the new buildings that's going to come up. Uh, but I want to show you basically what uh, the entire landscaping uh, will look like eventually when this is up. Uh, in fact, right now we already have our existing Renshi uh, Tandok uh, Singh uh, up and ready running, right? And of course, more. And of course, if you go to the next one, which is the location slide of this area itself, you realize that uh, for Pullman, uh, we are of we are within one click or one kilometers uh, proximity towards Novena Health City. Um, and the thing is, why, why this is such a, a, a good opportunity is because uh, the, the, sometimes we, the, we want to be near, but not too near, if you know what I'm trying to say. Uh, and the, within this one kilometer itself, it's a very, very good proximity uh, away from this uh, H. Uh, uh, HC, all right, okay, NHC, health city, yeah, yeah correct. And uh, <laughs> too, I got too much economics, already. <laughs> okay, <laughs> NHC, okay. Now, of course, uh, if you go to the next one, you'll realize that uh, Singapore is going to have the largest health hubs uh, complex plan within this uh, uh, Novena area itself. And if you look at it, well, uh, I highlighted the four key uh, points. Number one will be we will have created an extra space of 600,000 square meters of healthcare facilities and service within this area. And number two, another 170,000 square meters of uh, modern integrated healthcare complex within the, uh, this uh, city itself. And of course, what we will provide, it's a full range of holistic healthcare for Singapore. And this will really benefit the core central region residences immediately uh, very, very much. The impact will be there. I and believe, of course... Oh, sorry. I believe that the future proofs of buyer, like the doctors, and of course, uh, 
people who are working near the healthcare facilities would be the possible buyer for uh, Pullman residences as well. Definitely, definitely. So this is this this really forms the uh, 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 parts of the uh, exit strategy. And of course, if you look down, uh, uh, some more to the next slide. Okay, you do have got uh, experts quoting uh, three thirty thousands uh, uh, patients, visitors, students, staff are expected to pass through this uh, NHC uh, daily. And of course, under the two zero two zero healthcare manpower plan we are going to create another 30,000 uh, healthcare jobs that is coming. And of course, uh, Novena area uh, will eventually be attracting foreign buyers, tenants, uh, especially the medical tourists, uh, medical tourists who requires medical care in the facilities. They, needs to, they need to be staying near uh, to uh, the premises. And of course, being an established medical cluster, Novena do appeal to many medical professionals, doctors, professors, uh, scientists who will want to work uh, near their workplace. But the thing is sometimes, uh, uh, from what I know, most of my doctor friends, right, they, they, when they are working in the, the vicinity, they do not want to be staying in the vicinity. They want to be staying near. That's what I mentioned earlier on when I say within that one click, you don't want to be inside there. You want to be nearby there. All right? Yeah. Yes. So you know, nearby means where? <laughs> nearby. I think within one click, uh, also will and and will deem to be uh, satisfactory la. cannot be too far also but cannot be too cannot be immediately inside la. so what i did is i actually did one a summary on the exit strategy all right uh oh, sorry before that uh one more thing one more thing it's uh, one more point i want to bring out it's the uh I'm, I'm sure many of the audience here are also aware that we have this north south corridor that's creating all the way from sambawang uh, woodlands coming down all the way to the city area. This 21.5 kilometers uh, stretch targets to be completed by 2026. And of course, uh, this will greatly ease uh, the Thompson uh, Novena route, especially if we're coming from the north, coming all the way to the south, to the city itself. You'll reduce a lot of your travel time easily within, uh, uh, cut down by 20 to 30 minutes. All right. And of course, uh, this again, it's going to drive traffic from the north all the way even into uh, uh, Novena Health City. Yep. And of course, yes, if you look at the uh, next slide, which what I did, which is on the exit strategy, I actually summarize what, what is in for the buyers, especially if you are looking at to exit. Well, I, I quote this, never pit against one with the determination and will to get things done. We are talking about uh, Singapore. You know, the thing is when Singapore... Uh, when they talk about getting things done, you know, uh, they always get it done, especially we know, number one, uh, the current COVID pandemic right now, we are transiting to endemic, uh, especially now, we are uh, living with the virus. Healthcare industries have never been even more important. And right now, it has, over the last two years, it has constantly been the center of attention and even more so for Singapore. Everybody is looking at how Singapore is going to do for our existing COVID situation, how we're going to run uh, uh, and, and what are the measures moving forward. But uh, so I can tell you one thing, uh, if you were to mention another city, which is more important than, uh, I will say that the Novena Health City is going to be one of the key number one priority right now uh, to, get the, to get it up, to get it really strong. And it has to, and number two, the Health City Hub has to contribute to Singapore's num the first world presence uh, in the world. All right, uh, this is what we want to do. And of course, number three, values are expected to rise with existing limited supply. And if the, con the constant growing demand uh, uh, keeps go on the uptrend, well, the value will have to go up. And of course, number four, with the, the, and the thing is, even uh, as such, uh, the north-south corridor uh, will also ease uh, transportation and bring more traffic into the town area itself. So for the audience itself, right, the audience can answer the fifth question uh, on their own. What will happen to the price uh, for any audience who is actually looking at the, uh, the presentation right now with the exit strategy? So you enter right now by another uh, uh, 202, another four to five years time. Uh, what will go, what, what's going to happen to the price? The audience, uh, we'll leave it to the audience to answer this question themselves. Up or down? All right. <laughs> All right. Um, thank you, Kevin. So um, I would like to share a bit more on the premium rental transaction versus uh, the condos surrounding it. 
because Pullman Residences has not been uh, obtained TOP yet. So we will, can only share uh, existing branded residences versus within 500 meters uh, to their surrounding condos. What are the rental difference and whether is there any difference? So um, one of the branded residences that we pull out the data will be Ritz Carlton. We can see that uh, on this data, uh, the release transaction take place in September with the size between 2008 to 2009 uh, for a three bedroom. Renting starting from like 1006 to 1000, uh, 16,000 to 18,000. Uh, looking at a uh, PSF of five to six dollars per square foot. All right. And within the 500 meters, we have another famous uh, and popular condo, which is uh, Hamilton Scotts. So you can see within the same duration, which is uh, took place transacted in September of similar size, 2007 to 2008, also a three bedroom. The rental price is between 11,000 to 13,000. And of course, we are talking about the PSF is slightly lower than uh, Ritz Carlton Residences, which is at around $4. So uh, for urban resort condo, same thing, it is within 500 meters to Ritz Carlton. We can see that the Transaction took place at the same time, similar, uh, slightly smaller sizes, uh, three bedroom. They are looking at eight thousand to twelve thousand rental. So, uh, if we were to put into the similar size for the four bedroom, you can see that the rental price is also slightly lower than the branded residences. So, uh, I can, I can, we can actually draw a bit of summary from here. Is that tenants do enjoy the benefits of the concept service uh, provided by the branded residences and they are willing to pay slightly higher compared to the uh, normal condos surrounding uh, compared to the branded residences. Okay, and of course, um, just now we did talk about Canning Hill Pills, which is just happened on last weekend. 2,836 PSF was the debut price from, the, their price is starting from 2,836 PSF. So what do you think would be the price for Pullman residences? My audience that is tuning in to here, uh, I think we would like to hear from you. What do you think would be the prices for Pullman residences? A freehold branded residences versus something that they are just uh, achieve a great success for the debut for Kenny Hill Pukes. Okay, uh, before we come to that answer, I would like to give you a summary of uh, the branded residences that we have talked about, Pullman residences. Uh, we can see that there's a surge in demand for core central regions. So over the past three to four years, since 2018, we can see that the numbers for core central residences increases, uh, especially in this year. There are more foreigners buyers that uh, buy into Singapore on, on the recent years as well, with VTL lane open to a lot of countries, especially out of the top five countries that uh, four of them are open already. Uh, we believe that will bring in more foreigners buyer into the core central region. And being a prestigious branded residences, uh, it brings you a lot of good experience shared by Kevin Gao. Uh, be it you are traveling overseas, be it uh, you are having a guest coming in, um, you can get a personal chef, so, so there's a lot of good experience that you can you, you can have in staying in a branded residences. And comparing to all other condos, uh, branded residences, we are having a very attractive low maintenance fee. All right. And you're not being shortchanged in terms of the experience. And of course, comparing to the rest of the core central region, uh, Pullman residences continue to be one of the attractive maintenance fee as well. And of course, uh, for parents, like Kevin, uh, he has two boys uh, who is looking for good schools. Uh, I think we have three good schools, top primary school within one kilometer. And an in-depth cover of proper exit strategy on, on the Novena Health City. And uh, what are the various benefits you can get from staying near to Novena Health City. So what, uh, Kevin, what do you think will be the price for Pullman residences? Well, I think if you look at the last uh, benchmark uh, done last weekend for uh, Canning Hill Pierce, I think even for Canning Hill Pierce itself, uh, we are really looking at close to uh, 3,000 
uh, on 2829 uh, per square feet. And the thing is, if you really, really look at, if, if you are uh, really an investor on a watch, you also realize that for Kenny Hill Pierce itself, they are uh, only state land, which is 99 years leasehold, not even freehold, but they are already achieving such uh, uh, threshold prices. So right. uh, for Pullman itself, I would believe it has, because it's freehold, and, uh, and again, because it is also... Uh, freehold and yet branded residences, uh, a Pullman by a court group. So the price itself shouldn't be uh, anything lesser than that one. It would be a no-brainer. And <laughs> the thing is, <laughs> I will, if, I to, if, I, if I were to brand the, uh, this, this project itself, I would say it has to be at the threshold of at least, uh, minimum at least 3000 uh, 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 for any decent price tag to, to sell. So uh, we have some pleasant surprise for you, Kevin. Uh, the prices are starting from three bedroom at 2,600 PSF. Uh, the data is correct as, as, as the time that is being recorded. So uh, you can see that from one bedroom, uh, it's just starting from 1.3 million. For the two bedroom, starting from just 1.8. Three bedroom is only at 3 million, which is 2,006 PSF. So it's way lower than, than most of the recent uh, call central region launches that you are expecting. And of course, the four-bedroom, uh, if you are looking for four-bedroom for own stay, for family, or for even investment, is only starting from 2008 PSF. So uh, I think PSF is something that is super attractive for Pullman residences. And if you are keen to find out more about this development, prestigious branded development, do look out for any of our Hutton's agents. And this comes to the end of our sharing uh, on upskilling your luxury real estate portfolio. Uh, my name is Rex Tan. This is Kevin Gyal. Thank you very much, Rex. Uh, and thank you uh, to all the audience who is watching our show here. So uh, thanks, Rex, for summarizing. Uh, on my part itself, I also like to uh, add on. I think one of the, B, I hope uh, the audience today and uh, uh, do have a takeaway on this project itself. What we wanted to show you, it's really on the, uh, the experience of owning the and, uh, branded home, uh, uh, branded residences, a uh, uh, few. And uh, if you were to take away, I think the four key things that uh, uh, you should take away is number one, this is really undervalued. Number two, it is freehold. Number three, it is near MRT. And number four, it is a branded residences. And of course, uh, the, 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 the entire, uh, just now Rex also share using the data itself. If you really look at the uh, maintenance fees, even though you pay, uh, 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 I, I wouldn't say you pay higher, you pay almost similar uh, uh, maintenance fees. But you realize that the, the tenants, uh, foreigners, when they travel to Singapore, they, they enjoy such concierge services like in a hotel. They do provide such services when you need them uh, to, to, uh, to cater to all their needs. Uh, so that's why, that's why it is no doubt why uh, such branded residences, which is uh, tested and proven in Singapore, they do achieve uh, better demand and better uh, uh, value of the property itself when the uh, tenants are renting here. You know, uh, if you, you replace one that's branded and one that's uh, not branded, you put two together, eventually you will see the price tag really is very different. And uh, what kind of tenant profile will want to lease in your home? I think this is also what uh, most landlord will want to know. And uh, so if, again, like I say, if you, uh, the main four takeaway, I hope you all really uh, uh, share this experience and eventually uh Take a look at Pullman Residences. I think this is really a very good project not to be missed. Go and take a look before the units are all taken up. The units are selling very well. And uh, please take a look. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So with this, uh, I'm okay on my side. Uh, uh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank uh, you very much. We will, uh, do contact our agents to find out more about Pullman Residences. Thank you. I uh, hope you enjoy your Sunday. <laughs>